Welcome to Chris Lim for Co.uk uh, Get Going Guides and on these sessions we're looking at the control of the C panel. In this session we're going to look at a piece of software called Soft Delicious which is a fantastic uh, piece of software to put resources onto your website straight away uh, and quickly and efficiently and to set up all your server for you. So this is under Software and Services uh, so Soft Delicious is at the end. There is another piece of software called Fantastico which is very similar but Soft Delicious is the newer version of it and actually allows you to experiment with software before you actually get involved with it too heavily. So you can look at demos. So all we do is launch Soft Delicious and then it tells you uh, a list of things that you can just put onto your server quickly uh, without having to do any coding or set up any SQL databases it does it all for you so if you want to run a blog on your website there's plenty of blog solutions here uh, that you can use probably the most popular is Word WordPress uh, which we'll look at later uh, you can also um, if you're looking at these we can it tells you a list of all the ones you've got working uh, down here with a bit of information about what one it is. It goes the most popular first so WordPress is at the top of the list of the blogs and if you want to see what it does or how it works you can just click on demo and it will take you to a demo site uh, of the WordPress system and then allow you to have a little bit of a look and see how it works and how it looks. Something like WordPress is a theme based uh, system so you can change the look and feel of it later on and uh, a bit like Joomla as well and you can just then have a little play uh, with things here so you can just click on some buttons and see what it does so it's got here some RSS feeds if you want news feeds and things like that so if you want to have a look at another version just click on another demo and it will show you another uh, piece of software that will allow you to do it. This is B2 Evolution. Um, looks very similar to uh, WordPress, um, almost like the old WordPress in many ways, and it will then give you some things uh, to work from uh, and to play. And it gives you a username and a password so that you can uh, log in and have a little play. That's pretty much how it works all the way through. So if we close that up, if you want to have an image gallery, you just go to the image gallery. Here are lots of image galleries. Uh, for you to look at. Let's have some of these image galleries are empty, uh, which is unfortunate sometimes in a demo. Uh, I find um, so here it's saying an empty one, no images uh, to display. Uh, but it also tells you what images have been later added and things, recent ones for that. So you don't need to build your own web gallery uh, for that. You can use this if you want forums content management systems, you want to run a wiki or social networking site uh, on your site. So let's have a look at uh, social networking. So uh, Dolphin uh, is quite a popular one I tend to find. So we'll have a little look at the demo version of that. And we can just, uh, here's the demo version of it. So it has a nice screens on it. And you can see here that it gives you your basic setup screen. Uh, you can log in or join your community from here, uh, how many members are online, uh, and you can just build up your own usernames and stuff. So you can run your own version of Facebook, if you like, on your own server uh, by using uh, this software. So Soft Delicious is a fantastic piece of software, so you can view all sorts of different things. So if we have a calendar, you can go down there, and there's all sorts of different options uh, we can do. You want to do some polls or surveying uh, of people or project management tools, all sorts of different things, uh, music uh, support, uh, all sorts of stuff uh, from there. But what we're going to set up is a system for email. So where we've looked at email before, uh, you would have to make an account for people and then they have to go into your hosting and enter their account information there, which can be a bit messy so sometimes you'd want to run an email system on your own uh, server uh, where you can make an easy uh, login. We looked at Squirrel Mail before, so you can see that you can install your own Squirrel Mail uh, on the server. There's the icon that we saw before. Check the email setup uh, uh, 
uh, tutorial for that. And what we have here is at the top of all the Soft Delicious, we have this little menu system uh, where you can uh, look at features of it. Uh, you can look at the demo, which we just looked at. So let's have a click on the demo. We just wait for it to load, and basically you get into it, you enter a username and password, and we had a look at what it looks like uh, before. But if you want to install it, you just click on install. So we're going to be using um, just a straight HTTP uh, connection for it, um, So and we can install it on Chris Linford co.uk, so it's going on my domain. It's going to make a folder for it, so in which directory is it going to go? and then you need to give it uh, a site name so I'm going to call it uh, Chris Linford uh, email uh, for that it gives you a server address for it you don't need to change these this is all fine and a port that it's going to be run through your servers have lots of ports for different uh, setups and literally then you just click install but what you want to do you want to have your the details sent to you so that you can remember them uh, when you come back to it so you just put in your email address uh, at the bottom so I'm just going to send it to my chrislinfordco.uk uh, address there and then I go install and then it tells me there that it's all been installed successfully it's very quickly if I had to use FTP software to download the application and then upload it uh, to my website this could take up to an hour uh, so this is really quite quick and if I go on it now uh, it will then tell me uh, what I've uh, got to log into so you can run your own email system uh, from your server you can just put an email button on your site uh, and when you click on it you go into your own personal login in and password uh, window and it avoids going via your host to set up all the email so this is the advantage of soft delicious it allows you to get uh, extra services uh, quickly efficiently onto your service uh, in other tutorials we'll be looking at uh, Joomla in quite a bit of depth which comes under the portal system uh, and content management, CMS means content management and literally you can install it in the same way uh, from there, so Joomla is at the top and so you can just click on that and you can just install Joomla uh, from there and that's Soft Delicious, a fantastic piece of software saves you lots of time, lots of effort, lots of file transfers that can take a long while uh, so if you have any more questions you can contact me at chris at chrislinfordco.uk or you can find me on iTunes or on YouTube.